Hello and welcome to Dino Solve once again and this time we're going to bring you the interior exterior walkthrough video of the Cross Polo. Crossovers or uh, crossover utility vehicles as they are known in the international market are uh, vehicles that are built on uh, hatchback uh, platforms uh, but uh, do get the uh, features of an SUV like uh, higher ground clearance and uh, higher seating position and all-wheel drive system what we see here is uh, nothing of that sort it is a crossover uh, it gets slightly higher ground clearance you have 168 mm of ground clearance when compared to the regular polo which comes with uh, 165 mm you have a uh, cross polo uh, branding uh, all around just to enhance the sporty look you have uh, contrast uh, colored outside rear view mirrors the dual beam headlamps uh, redesigned front bumper uh, you get a skid plate up front and you have a rear skid plate as well a uh, brand new uh, grille which looks nice and aggressive and uh, the paint scheme goes really well with this uh, overhaul that has uh, been given uh, you do get uh, all around body cladding five spoke alloy wheels I just uh, I hope they would have uh, given it a black alloy wheels because it would have really uh, taken the visual appeal to the next level anyhow it looks good with the regular uh, uh, five spoke alloy wheels as well so that's pretty much it everything else is pretty much the same it is available only in the diesel variant uh, I mean the cross polo uh, comes only in diesel you have the new polo in uh, petrol and diesel and you have the GT series that are available in uh, petrol and diesel so this one comes only in diesel the door opens up nice and wide and you can get inside the interiors are again reminiscent to that of the uh, polo series so there's no drastic change available and talking about the features what you have here is uh, you have a sporty new steering wheel and you get bluetooth connectivity with voice command system and uh, you get a 1.5 liter uh, tdi engine that puts out 105 ps of peak power and uh, 250 newton meters of torque so this is a different uh, power figure when compared to the uh, polo diesel variant it is almost similar to the GT TDI so that's pretty good and uh, apart from that you get a uh, all other uh, regular features the seats are nice and comfortable and uh, safety features include ABS and dual air, uh, airbags uh, apart from that you don't get the uh, electronic stability program or uh, hill climb assist those are uh, two features that are exclusive to the GT TSI petrol you don't get that in any other variant and uh, at the rear again the doors open up nice and wide you have ample uh, knee room leg room headroom uh, despite its low slung uh, seating position you have good uh, cabin uh, space and good cabin feel all round cabin visibility is pretty good and uh, the driving experience is one of the best undoubt undoubtedly the ride quality is extremely uh, plush and uh, the suspension uh, setup is one of the best in the in and around the segment apart from that uh, some of uh, you who aren't aware of Volkswagen's uh, history it was founded in 1937 and the group owns uh, brands like Audi Bentley Bugatti Lamborghini Porsche Skoda etc and the list just goes on and on so <clears throat> also in the top 10 selling cars of all time uh, Volkswagen has three of uh, their models uh, namely the Passat, the Beetle and Golf so they are the only manufacturer to have three models in the top 10 uh, uh, list of hottest selling cars of all time you get uh, 295 liters of boot space uh, which will always come in handy so that's pretty much it I just hope uh, this uh, brief walk around video was useful until next time this is Dino saying ciao take care God bless and drive safe